Welcome back to 24th Century Palette. I'm Captain Nils of the USS Bacchus. And today I have a controversial opinion to share. I've recently tasted vintage 2395 of Chateau Picard. Now, I've always had some confusion about Chateau Picard because chateaus are usually in Bordeaux and he's making a burgundy. But let's not get into that. Um, clearly, there was some hail this year. Clearly, it was not a very ripe vintage because it's just flat. I wanted to investigate, so I, I took a trip to Chateau Picard. Um, I love Burgundy, so you know I traveled all around, but specifically I wanted to, to look at what was going on. Clearly this was just an off vintage. Most winemakers, when they have a bad vintage, would choose to further age the wine, but what can I say? It, it, it is simply not worth it. I am sorry. Don't buy this vintage. It, it's not going to age well. It is certainly not cellar worthy. Um, I'm getting notes of it's just very vegetal, pepper, a little bit of spent dilithium crystal in there, some deuterium, uh, a gamey note like like maybe targ or something like that. Yeah, it's just it's not it's not what it should be. Now, if Jean Luc were here, I'm sure he would say 2395 was a perfectly good year, but that is just not true. I knew his brother. I knew Robert. He was a very curatorial winemaker. If it was a vintage that was not up to scratch, he would have not released a wine that year. And this is just, I mean, look at it. It's just pale. It's its thin. Are these self-replicating sulfites? I'm sorry, Jean-Luc. You're just not suited for wine. Go back to command, all right? The Enterprise is waiting for you. Mr. Tambourine, man. Security teams, 